Hey everyone, it's Mr. N here, and here is another uh, related rates type question. This one involves objects moving in different directions. So in our example, so we'll say this is, whoops, let's fix this right there. We will say related rates, and this is objects in different directions. Okay. So in this example, we have two cars. They could say two planes, two trains, it doesn't matter. Leave from point, the same point at the same time. Car A heads due south at a rate of 90 kilometers per hour. So right here, this is all that we're given. Let's list everything. We have a car that heads due south, and we're given a rate. So we're going to just call this one dy since we're moving in the y, dy dt. Now you could technically put negative 90 here kilometers per hour since we're going south, so we're going down. And just make sure though, if you are going to use negatives, uh, make sure then the other direction you put negatives if you're going to go to the left. And car B heads due west. So due west is this way. Um, the reason why, if you forget the negatives, it won't matter because um, you're going to end up squaring these because we have a Pythagorean theorem involved here. So they'll end up taking care of themselves regardless. So car B heads due south, so this is car A down here, this is car B, or sorry, due west, at a rate of 70, and we'll put negative, kilometers per hour. So we've got a rate for A and a rate for B. How fast is the distance between the cars increasing? So we need to know what this rate right here is increasing, and this is, we'll just call it dS, we'll call it that distance between them, S, and um, we'll say that that rate is dS dt. And we want to know how, what this is changing after two hours. So this is what we have to find. So we need ds dt. Well, obviously, one is going south, one is going west. We've got Pythagorean theorem involved here. So we've got, this is my x, we'll say. So we have the formula that we're going to use, which will be x squared plus y squared equals my s squared. Okay, so we've got that. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Everything's changing here. We've got things changing in the west, things changing south, and then things changing in that diagonal fashion. So let's take a look. So with related rates, we always want to dis uh, take implicit differentiation. It's always involved because we have something changing with time. So in this case, let's go ahead and implicitly differentiate my formula, which is the Pythagorean theorem, and see where we end up. And now I have nothing is constant here. Everything's changing, so I have to differentiate implicitly everything. So this one becomes 2x, and then of course we're going to put dx dt. Over here we end up with 2y, and we're going to put dy dt. And then over here we have 2s with the ds dt. Now, do I have information for all this stuff? dx dt, yes I do. It's negative 70. dy dt, yes I do. That's negative 90. ds dt, that's what I'm solving for. Do I have an x? Do I have a y? And do I have an s? Well, sure, I do. Here's how I do. It says this happens after two hours. So we could take this quantity of two hours and figure out how far has this traveled at negative 90 kilometers per hour, that should be per hour, times two hours. Well, this has gone a total of 180 kilometers south. Over here, this has gone a total of 140, so this is 70 times the two, 104 kilometers west. Now, you could put negatives on these again. And since we do, the negatives will cancel out because I do multiply them by the negatives. Notice negative 8180 times a negative 90 will reduce out. So let's go ahead and plug in the values. Well, we need to know this S distance, and we can find this S distance. This is going to be the square root of 140 squared plus 180 squared. Again, if you put the negatives, they'll, they'll go ahead and square themselves out. So S ends up being 228.0351. So let's put that in there. So we've got 2 times X, which is 140. We determined that. And then DX DT, which is 70. And um, if we go ahead and put the units on these, this would be 70 uh, kilometers per hour, and this would be 140 uh, 140 kilometers. So we have kilometers squared per 
hour. But that's going to be okay because over here we're going to divide by a kilometer and then we'll end up with kilometers per hour, back to kilometers per hour. So let's put in the 2 over here. Let's put in our y. Our y is going to be 180. Let's put in the dy, dt, which is 90. So these are negatives and these are negatives. Again, I told you we can leave that out because we know that the negatives will reduce each other out. Over here, 2 times s. Now, s is going to be positive because this distance increasing between the two is a positive distance. 0 0.0351 ds dt. Now, let's go ahead and solve for ds dt. Over here, we end up with 19600 plus 32400 equals. Now, I'll put these in my calculator real fast. That's how I know this. 0702 ds dt. And solving this, we'll end up with 114.0175 kilometers per hour, which is our ds dt. Again, the units here were kilometers, kilometers per hour, kilometers, kilometers per hour, and these were kilometers, so you ended up with kilometers per hour. All right, so for these that are moving in different directions, Typically, you're going to get the ones that are going south, west. If you get them at a different angle, then we might need to involve sine, cosine, and tangent. All right, hopefully this has helped. Uh, good luck with your related rates.